Alright guys, so this is going to be an important tutorial for the rest of this series, where I'll be covering all the variables. I'm doing this in the hopes that it will help you to learn. And uh, yeah, so last last episode we create we created a script that would yeet in chat. So this in this episode, now that we can run the script, we'll be setting variables and displaying those variables in chat, and we'll finish off with just making a loop or a, a simple uh, if statement. Now, it is important because I do go through all the different uh, nuances that are associated to variables. I will not be doing arrays in this episode, just 100% variables. So let's get into it. Uh, without further ado, let's go into the tutorial lead and go into the text. Now, you have three different types of, of variable. You have a, a Boolean variable, you have the integer variable, and you have the string. So, for each one of these, um, I am going to... Uh, for Boolean vi uh, variables, it's just a, a word without a prefix. Uh, integers are always prefixed with the hashtag and... Strings are always prefixed with the ampersand symbol. So there you go. So booleans generally you want to assign uh, a value, for example, zero, zero or false. Uh, it's it's got the same. Uh, for integers you want to assign a value, for example, ten. And strings you want to assign a string, which is usually in between quotes, and put this is a string like that. Next up we have global variables. So Global variables are basically variables that are prefixed with the at symbol. So you can have a global boolean value or a global string value. Uh, so the global string value would have the string prefix behind it. Global boolean value would just um, not have a prefix. So if I can type global, uh, this would be global boolean value and uh, this one would be a global string. Uh, so, so I'm going to keep the uh, global string value and name this one. This is global. All right. So now we we have set a global variable. So every time the script is run, it will set this global variable as that to that value. This is global. Um, and if it wasn't set beforehand, it's setting it now. And by default, global variables that are not set will take the value of an empty string if it isn't defined beforehand and same for booleans, booleans will take the default value of false and integers will take the default value of zero. So for example we could have a, a toggleable boolean value like here. We're not setting it, I'm, I'm putting this as a comment, we'll be using it uh, later but just keep in mind that this is not a variable that exists, it is just set there for now. All right, next up, we'll be uh, showing how to display these different variables in chat. So we have Boolean, integer, string, and global. So uh, you can do that simply by putting it in between percent signs like this inside the log function. So uh, whatever value that variable has, it will be injected inside here. So the um, this value will you'll be injected with the value of the Boolean so that could very well be um, the false value, so it would show a zero. Um, same for the string, it, whatever is inside this variable, so this is a string will appear. Uh, for the integer as well, so for example here you will have the value of 10. And over here you have the global value of toggleable, which is not set right now, so it will be uh, automatically false or zero. And then you will have the uh, global string here, which is the this is global set. So I'm just going to add a log and wait to that, just to add a little bit of space. There we go. And save, and let's run it. So as you can see, the value of the global string is called this is global. And the global boolean value is set to zero because it was unset in the past. And then you have the string value, which is, this is a string. And of course, the Boolean value is false with a capital F. All right, next up, if I go back to my script, uh, I'll be, I'll be um, 
showing you just real quick the predefined variables. So the predefined variables are variables that already exist in the game that you do not set. Uh, they already set and you can you, they are displayed in your settings. So if you go in the bottom right, top left, uh, you go into your settings here and click the debug bu information button, you will have your screen filled with lots of debug information. Uh, I can make a little zoom on the screen right now. And yes, so there's all the debug information uh, currently running. You can see at the top left of the debug information the uh, global variables that are at work. So you have the ones that have been set. All right, so uh, moving on, moving on. There's a lot to cover. Sorry. <laughs> Enable debugging information off. All right, all right. Don't forget to click save when turning it off. Enable debugging information off. Click OK. OK. And that is where we're at. Let's go ahead and return now that we've got the uh, uh, predefined variables set. So we want to display, for example, a display name, our saturation, the current time, and the, our current position in chat. Uh, when I click this, it will uh, exit. It'll say the time, the player name, my saturation, which is currently at zero, and my current position. So if I was to move, the time and position would obviously be different. There we go. So, different position, different time. Uh, if I scroll up, x minus 63, x minus 64, you can see compared to two, two different times. Yeah. Next, next up, we'll be doing how to changing variables. So, how to change the different variables. There are commands that exist uh, within the macro mod that allow you to change the different uh, variables. So, I'm just going to start with uh, the normal set command. So I'm just going to put a little bit of comments and stuff so we know what we're doing. Changing variables, there we go. So I'm going to start with the set command. The set command is basically used uh, on any variable to give it a value. Uh, as long as you you always give a string a string value, you always give a an integer an integer value, uh, you shouldn't have any problems at all. You can even do boolean false uh, the same. That's basically how the set value works. Next up is the um, increase and decrease values. So for example, here we set the integer to 100. When it up the top, it was uh, set it to 10. We now have decrease. The um, This one starts with a hashtag, which is the prefix for the integer value. So we're going to be decreasing an integer value by a certain amount. So we'd, here we're decreasing our integer value from up there by 10. And we're also going to be increasing it by 5. So 100 minus 10 plus 5. 95. Um, so we should have um, 95. Next up is the toggle. So this is the toggleable um, global um, variable that we haven't set, but was as we saw here, it was by default set to zero. Uh, so now we're going to toggle it so now it's equal to true. And we're going to unset the global string that we set earlier. Unset basically um, unsets it. Uh, removes it so this global string will no longer appear and now that that's done um, let's go ahead and just display the variables in chat so I'm just gonna copy paste what's up there down here with the displaying so it should so it should uh, be the same and log that save out exit um, etc so now when you run the script, uh, at the end, you should get the values that have changed. Uh, so the value of the string has, was changed to hello world. As we said it, the, the value of the integer was 95. And the value of the global Boolean value is now set to 1. And the value for the global string is not this is global, but it is nothing. So you can see that it changed from the top of the script to the bottom of the script. Um, and if I run it a second time, you'll see that at the top of the script it's 1, at the bottom of the script it's 0, etc. So it's 0, like at the end of the script, last script it set it to 0, it stayed at 0, and that's 1. So what's what's doing this is basically the toggle, toggleable here, we're to where we're toggling the uh, global variable. The specific thing with global variables is that they are, um, they don't change from one it 
iteration of the script to another. So you can run multiple different scripts, all are changing, for example, one variable, and that one variable will be common throughout all those scripts. That's just the global variable, how it works, etc. So we've covered what percentage lines are, we've covered all the different prefixes, so for boolean, no prefix, uh, hashtag for integer, ampersand for string, the at for the global, and then it's followed by the prefix for the actual variable, so you have the type of variable here. Um, and then now we're just going to be changing a variable, so for example, the toggleable uh, variable that we had earlier, uh, one way to use it is uh, is this way of doing it, so if it's um, if toggleable, so if it's true or if it's false, it will give two different outputs. So if, usually in this statement, you put in a condition. So if that condition is true, it will output this. If it is not true, it will output that. So I've put toggleable is set to true, toggleable is set to false, just to give uh, an example of how to use a global variable. So the first time we run this, it will say toggleable is set to false. The second time we run this, it will say toggleable is set to true. And basically every time you click this, it will toggle between true and false. And that's how you make, that's uh, how you can use the um, global variables. Uh, or an example, a quick example of a variable being used. And I hope this, um, I hope this tutorial was a lot of help. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, Put them down in the comments and also uh, one thing I did forget to say is do not use um, capital letters in the names of your variables it can lead to problems uh, just keep it all on you know small caps for now it's 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 for the best uh, explanations can be given later <laughs> all right that's that's it thanks for watching bye so in the next next episode we'll be going through the different loops and this time loops that have the variables so this would be the for loop the do loop with the while condition and yeah the for and the do and that's do while so looking forward to that I'll see you in the next episode